Today, Senator Kevin Kramer hosted the new Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Michael Regan to meet with state and industry leaders here in North Dakota. Josh Minnie explains why Kramer and other Republicans think they see a path for productive collaboration for Biden's EPA pick. The day kicked off with a stakeholder listening session at the National Energy Center of Excellence at Bismarck State College. Back in March, Senator Kramer voted to confirm Michael Regan. Kramer says he endorses Regan because the administrator understands the importance of partnership between states and the federal government. Has an appreciation for what our founders had in mind with the design of a country, a federal government that's created by the states and, and federalism. So we had that discussion before his confirmation. We had this discussion and during this confirmation, we've had that discussion since. Senator Hoven's pitch to the EPA administrator was for regulatory certainty for carbon capture and sequestration. We just need a little help to do that. Um, and, of course, that's, that's our pitch to you today. And it really is, it, you know, it's one thing to say all the above energy. It's another thing to do it. We do it right now here in North Dakota. Hoven explains that carbon capture will be used for coal-fired plants, oil and gas, and ethanol, and that there are three steps to making the proven technology commercially viable. One, the enhanced tax credits. Two, the uh, front-end funding help uh, in partnership between federal government, state of North Dakota, and our private sector. And then third is loan guarantees. Those are in place. We've got those, at both at DOE and RUS. But we need to be able to access them. And that's where the regulatory certainty from you comes in. Congressman Kelly Armstrong stressed the importance of ag and energy sectors to North Dakota's overall well-being. The people in our communities are staying. Our kids are graduating and staying in North Dakota. And uh, a lot of it has to do with industries you regulate. And he says that's why North Dakotans are so passionate about resisting regulation that inhibits growth in those industries. Harm those industries, they harm our communities, they harm our people. That's why we were so passionate. So when we, when we do have to fight, we'll fight well. We'll fight with a smile, but we'll push back. And and hopefully we can continue to work together to help us do what we do best, and that's feed and feel the work. Regan pledges to have listening sessions on controversial regulations such as the waters of the U.S. on a state-by-state -state basis. This is exactly why I'm interested in having this robust conversation, because I think when we really sit down and agree that one size doesn't fit all, and that these are complex issues, there is a layered discussion about what is the appropriate role of the federal government, state government relationship, and how together we do achieve what I would perceive to be some common goals. The day ended in downtown Mandan, where Kramer and other state leaders gave Regan a walking tour of a 300,000 brownfield site that will be used for environmental assessments that will work towards revitalizing downtown. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Josh Minnie. Regan says he is going to devote more resources toward improving communication between the regional office and local stakeholders.